Namaste my beautiful beings of light. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette and I am a high vibrational being. I am a high priestess. I am connected to the most high. I am an earth angel. I do receive prophetic uh, messages either through synchronicities, those are my angels, either through music, either through movies, either through anything in the world, I receive those messages from my ancestors, from my guides, from my, uh, from my creator. And I'm very thankful and very grateful for the gifts that I do have. And I don't use them for evil. I only use them for the highest good of all. I am a light being. I am a galactic being. I have reincarnated on this planet at this time to help raise the consciousness of the collective and the planet and help the animals. I am here on a mission and I'm not going to allow anyone to stop me. I just want to tell the people who are messing with my um, videos, making my face look crazy. <laughs> you know, as long as the message goes through, I don't have a problem. I know who I am. I know how beautiful I am. You try to distort my energy, but you know what? You're distorting your own energy. Okay? Because whatever you do doesn't hurt me. It hurts you. Whatever you do to me, I'm returning it back to you. To the sender. Any evil I is sent back to you. Okay? Any ill intent is sent back to you. I am not here for your entertainment. I am here to teach the collective. If you don't like my, you need to get off my channel. I told you already, you're not welcome on my channel. You're not welcome in my channel. You will reap karma. The more times you come on my channel, the more karma you get. I'm tired. You're weirdos. You're weird. I don't bother you. Anyway, back at the ranch. Thank you. I just needed to say that because it's like I watch my videos and it's like they cut my videos. Okay? Just like they take my money from my bank. Okay? Think I don't know. But you all get caught. At the end of the day, you're all going to get caught. So I'm going to start off with, I'm going to call in my creator to always protect me, to always uh, uh, protect me with his white light, golden light. I'm calling in my archangels, my ascended masters, my collective family, my all the light beings, all my ancestors, all my spirit animals, all of my family members to come and surround me and protect me and do not allow any energies that is not for my highest good to distort this reading, okay? You need to go, okay? Because you're being watched and you're going to jail, plain and simple. You're going to jail. I am an alien. I am an alien. So I have past life in Egypt. I do come from a very, very royal family. Very royal. Okay? And even royal ancestors as in the galactic. Okay? Anunnaki's are my family too. Okay? Let me see first. 
I'm going to start off by talking about archangels. Since I am an earth angel, okay? And we are in the times of the revelations where God said he's going to send his angels 144,000 to help those. To help the collective, help the planet. What is an angel? Get to that one. What is an angel? While there is popular notions of angels sitting on clouds, playing harps and beatific expressions, they are in fact workers. Just like humans. Their mission is to guide all living beings towards the light of which they are a part. To feel the presence of an angel, to know pure joy. Sorry. To, to feel the presence of an angel is to know pure joy. Angels are all about us, desiring nothing more than to guide us towards what is good and protect us from which will cause us harm. That they are, that they, sorry, they are there to help you when you are suffering, grief, if you are willing to open yourself up to their healing. The presence of an angel. It is difficult for most people to believe in something that they cannot see. And few people have seen angels. However, if you will trust in yourself enough to open up your heart and your mind, you will at the very least be able to feel your angel's presence. You will see from this book the strange things happen in life that have no scientific explanations, but which are so ordered and so and I'm sorry but which are so ordered and of such a wonderful nature they that they cannot be considered random events lives have been saved life altering mistakes have been avoided and simple pleasures have been enjoyed people who go to people who go on to share great love meet by the strangest coincidence is meant to be is what most people say. Angels and their labor shine with earth, unearthly lights, a light that is perceived at some level of consciousness by anyone who is open to receiving gladness in their lives. Throughout time, spirits and deities have been associated with light. The ancient Egyptians called their gods the Shining Ones. To learn more about the roles of the angels in our lives, read the role of angels. So enhance your life by engaging with your angels. Read building relationships with your guardian angel. Okay, unless you have love, unless you can love as the angels may, with the breath of heaven betwixt you, unless you can dream that this faith is fast, through be loving and behaving, unless you have died when the dream is past, oh, never call it loving. Elizabeth Barnett Bowing, A Woman's Shortcoming. That was a poem. Okay. The ancient world. Before angels, there were gods and goddesses, ancestors, and great spirit entities. 
The celestial beings like angels are charged with charged to maintain harmony within the non, known universe. They were also messengers between heaven and earth. In the polyethnic religions of the ancient world, such as the religion of the ancient Greeks, the people worship a pantheon of male and female deities. The most important god did not invoke themselves in human daily life, while the least importance were most directly concerned. Rituals and sacrifices would be made to ensure the support of these deities who could be benevolent or malevolent, according to the whim. The people held many festivals throughout the years to honor individual god and goddesses, perform rituals and sacrifices, and pray to them for interventions in their crisis. The Greeks also believed in a personal guardian spirit known as their Damien. It was assigned to each person at or prior to his or her birth. The Romans called it their genius. The Egyptians their Ba or Ka. Plato and Socrates were two great philosophers who were inspired by their daemons. The role of the daemons was most identical to that of the guardian angel. While our guardian angel is pure goodness, its ancient form was capable of both inspiring the person under its care or of punishing him or her for failure to honor the gods. The concept of benevolent and malevolent daemons eventually divided into good daemons and bad daemons, or in the terms guardian angels and demons. Round us too short, round us too shall angels shine, such as minister to thee. Forty days and forty nights. The beginning of the Western religion. Angels as we in the West understand them had their origins in the ancient Persian religion of Zoroastri. Uh, Astrianism, Zoroaster, C. 26, 628 BC to C. 551 BC, also known as Zarathustra, came from a family of low, lower nobility. He was a priest in the polyethnic religion of Persia until he had a vision of Anna, An Anhura Mazda, the wise lord. The vision showed Zoro Zoroaster, the Hawura Mazda, as the creator of heaven and earth, the source of light and darkness, the center of nature, the lawgiver and the judge of the world was alone worthy to worship. Free will was an important concept of the Zoroastrianism, not only for the humans but the gods as well. At the beginning of time, members of the Pathians had to decide whether they follow Ahura Mazda or join Angra. Menu later, Ahriam, the evil spirit of Zoroastrianism. I don't know that word. Seven celestial beings known as the Amisha Spentas are benefit immortals supported Ahura in the great war against Ang Angara Man Menu. Seven major gods joined Angra Menu. Zoroaster preached that human beings were important soldiers in the war between heaven, kingdom of justice and truth, 
and hell, kingdom of the lie. They, like the immortals, were given free will to choose to fight alongside of Amisha, Spentus, or join the evil forces. The Amisha Spentus were equivalent to the archangels and the people who prayed to them individually for intercessions in their affairs. Humankind also ven uh, ven venerated Fravashis, who were similar in nature to the saints and who did aid could be sought in time of trouble. Every person was protected by Fari Favrati, which corresponds with our guardian angel. So Rasta was one of the most significant personalities in history. He was one of the Ponti pa, oh my God, Pythagoras teachers and was believed to have been a mystic, magician, and occultist of great power. Zoroastrianism survived in Persia until the Arabic Islamic invasion of the 17th 7th century it still survives in India and Iran and Parisians I don't know these words are really really uh, unbeknown to me very um, I don't know how to pronounce them <laughs> okay so each of the Zoroastrians it's Z-O-R-O-A-S-T-R-A-I-N angels represent a facet of the divine nature of their father, Ahura Mazda, or God. Humans were meant to share in the qualities personified by each one, hence their collective title, Benefit, Beneficient Immortals. There was one who was called Spenta Menu, who was the Holy Spirit, is an aspect of God created by him to fight Angara Manu. He also protects the sky, the water, the earth, the planets, and the unborn children. Bahu Mahan, righteous thinking, which is the righteous thinking, is the firstborn son who sits at the hands who sits at God's right hand. He is the personification of God's wisdom, illumination, and love. It is he who gave Zoroastra to God's throne. He is the spirit of divine wisdom, illumination, and love. Ashha Fahistra is the justice of truth is the most beautiful son of God. The believer prayed that they may dwell with him in paradise. He protects the world from disease and evil. He presides over fire, sacred symbols of the divine and purifier of evil. This other word I cannot pronounce, which is K-H-S-H-A-T. H R A and V A I R Y A, which is the desirable dominion, presides over the kingdom of heaven and on earth, protects and gives strength to the poor and the sick and the weak. He provides over mental and the believer. He presides over mental and the believer can release the power of this element by allowing himself to be guided by this angel of excellent order and good mind. Spenta Amarti. This is the bene uh, beneficent devotion. It's God's first daughter and sits at his left hand. She provides over earth and guides and protects the believer. 
She is the spirit of the devotion and faith. Also participating in the battle between heaven and earth are the warrior bands formed by guardian angels and humankind and the Fravratis. Okay. I am going to name the ten holy Sephardim and their governing angels, which is Ketra, Divine Crown, which is Archangel Metatron, the angel closest to God. He is the link between the divine and humankind. He was Enoch before his physical ascension to heaven, chief of the Hazel Kodesh holy beast. Metatron was considered, Metatron was counselor to Moses. Then we have Hokama, which is wisdom which is Raziel, Archangel Raziel, Wisdom, personified and the Angel of Mysteries, Chief of the Heirloom, the Violent, the Violent, V-A-L-I-A-N-T ones, I'm sorry, Raziel was Adam's counselor. Then we have Bina, Understanding, which is the Archangel Zakiel, Angel of Contemplation. Contemplation. Then we have Hasid, Mercy, which is the Archangel Zakiel, Chief of the Order of Harsh Malim or Dominions. He is the Angel of Benevolence, the Angel of Mercy, and the Angel of Justice. Zachiel was Abraham's counselor. Din, justice, my judgment, power, which is Archangel Samuel, the adversity who represents the sever severity of God, a chief of the seraphim and leader of 12,000 angels of destruction, also angel of death. Then we have Tefriet, beauty and glory, which is Archangel Michael. The sun is splendor, chief of the heaven host, angel of presence, angel of repentance, angel of righteousness, angel of mercy, and angel of certification. Sat sat Michael was counselor to Solomon. Then we have Nezah, Endurance, Victory, Entity, which is Archangel Haniel. He was seen, he who sees God and chief of the transhisms, brilliant ones, has Haniel transported Enoch to heaven. Then we have Hot, Majesty, Splendor, which is Archangel Raphael, the angel of healing, both of the world and humankind angel of compassion and love, chief of Beni Ilium, and the host of angels, and increasingly sings the praises of God. Raphael was the counselor of Isaiah. Then we have Yosoat, which is foundation, the prince of justice, the chief of the Oriphim and the Caribbean, foundations, wheels, or chariots. He is the angel of mercy, angel of vengeance, angel of death, angel of revelation. Gabriel was counselor of Joshua and Daniel. Then we have Shanikia, God presence in the world, which is Archangel Sandafel, twin brother of Metatron, and originally the prophet Elias. 
He is said to be the tallest angel. His feet are on earth while his head reaches in the world, heaven. He ensures the prayers of the faithful ascent as an orb kingdom to God. Sandifiel San Saddle Fawn is the guardian angel of earth and is involved in Croesus combat with Samuel. So these are the angels. There's more, but it's, it's a lot of it's a, it's, it's a lot. But I think the angels are here to speak to the collective. They are here to guard, but they are also here to destroy those who are not for the highest good of this planet. They guard us, they heal us, they make sure they take care, that we are taken care of. But those who are destroying this planet, there are archangels that are here to defeat those who are not for the highest good. I'm going to do a couple of readings on the angels. Angels, what do you want to say? Okay, we have Archangel Yeratel, which is number 27. Intelligent, balanced, and immature. I'm sorry. Intelligent, balanced, and mature. Of noble and refined appearance. He follows his instincts as well as the advice of others. He has high levels of in this initiative and pervasive perseverance and is protected against all types of neg negative forces. Oh, he's here. I feel the energy. I am getting oh. His life is clear and full of joy. He does any he does everything lucidly and in considerate and is and in a considered way and his strength of action is invincible. Why he starts always ends with success. This angel, his attribute is God who punishes the bad. The planet is Mars. His angelic choir is powers. The ruling hours for this angel is 8.40 a.m. to 9 a.m. The reason for invoking is to act for protection against unfair attacks. To give us knowledge of divine truth and to succeed in business so this angel will help you if you invoke him between the hours of 8 30 and 9 for your success he will help you only for the good of all he remember the angels don't do evil Is there another angel that wants to speak what's the next angel who wants to is there another angel? Another angel? Oh, there's a lot. They want to speak. Okay, just one. One angel. One angel. Angel Menadel. Number 30. Oh, shoot. Nine, nine. This one is 36, but it's also another nine. Wow. Wow, it's a lot of endings. It's a lot of endings. Optimistic, independent, active, advanced. He's considered honesty and truth to be highly important factor in life. He possesses a lot of willpower and in shrewd self-confidence and directing his forms of speaking. He acts with discreet discretion and astonishments, assuming responsibility and dictations and seriousness. A perfectionist who is de dedicated to work. He expects the same attitude from his colleagues. 
He is well liked in his work environment, but is rather easily offended and quick to criticize things that he does not like. An excellent friend and companion. He is also a passionate lover. Oh, this angel attributes is God deserving of admirations. His planet is Jupiter. His an angelic choir is Domin Dominions. The ruling hours are 11.40 a.m. to 12 p.m. The reason for invoking is to stay work, to keep what we have, to find lost objects, to protect us against slander and curses, to receive news about people far away. So I invoke this angel to keep away from all energies who slander the collective of high beings. Very powerful angel. One more angel. One more angel spirit. Oh. Mommy, ma, ma, Mu, Mayel, Mu Mayel, I don't know, M U I, M U M I A H. And this is, oh my god, another nine. I can't do not. This is number 72. These angels are speaking. 999. Nine, nine. So 999. Nine, nine. I haven't seen 999 nine, nine a lot. So it may be significant for somebody. These angels are speaking to you. These angels are speaking to you. Intelligent, balanced, and mature, of noble and re redefined, I'm sorry, and noble and refined appearance. He follows his instincts as well as the advice of others. He has high levels of initiative and perseverance. Oh, wait. Yeah. and is protected against all types of negative forces. His life is clear and full of joy. He does everything lucid. Oh, did I read? Okay, I read this number backwards. I'm sorry, I gotta do number 72. I read him already. Oh my God, I read the wrong angel for the wrong. Okay, so this is number 27. I'm so sorry, guys. He does everything lucidly and considered way considered way and his strength of action is invincible where he starts he always ends in success I'm so sorry God who punishes the bad that's his attributes the planet is Mars the power the angelic powers is the angelic choirs powers ruling hours from 840 to 9 a.m. 9 a. Reasons for invoking to ask for protective against unfair attacks, to give knowledge of divine truth, and to succeed in business. So, that's him. I'm going to read number 72 now. I'm so sorry, guys. I read the wrong. I read 72 as 27. Okay. He is Harold for his marvelous discoveries, including uncovering secrets of nature. Hating illusions, he is uneasily he uneasily uneasily searches for the truth in order to reach objective conclusions. Speaking out with strength and courage against evil and injustice. He enjoys change as it as it renews and refreshes. And he is 
flexible in his ways of thinking. He always helps those who need assistance to emerge from oppression or depression. The attributes God who needs, God who ends all things. The planet is the moon. The angelic choir is guardians. The ruling hours are from 11.40 p.m. to 12 a.m. The reason for evoking is to protect the poor and the suffering, to protect us against negative feelings of others of which we are unaware, to help us be flexible emotionally, to help us identify our emotional emotional damn I can't what's that word shackles shackles what we are tied of well what we were tied into I'm no longer tied to any anything but that's this angel Oh, thank you, angels. I love you all. Thank you so much, you guys. 999. 999. This is 9. 36 is 9. 27 is 9. And 72 is 9. So 999. This is like, this is cycle. This is ended. There's a lot of things that is ending, but there's a lot of beautiful beginnings that's going to be starting and I'm just going to go into a sign here what's the sign that's going to be picked today what sign are we are okay so it went to moon and Gemini you are dual nature prone to gossip and flirt a lot Incautious, heedless, clever, interesting, always seeking out the spotlight. This is not the best placement for one's moon, as you are often too much the intellectual type, more interested in business and your profession than romance. You are also not as serious about your honors as you might be just thinking just making it difficult for the ones with whom you're involved try not to be so changeable and subdue your tendencies to split whenever the mood hits you so that was astrology for lovers that's in the moon in gemini let's see okay so I am going to do Saturn in the 8th house, which you're inspired to acquire financial betterment through marriage, but you will find your hopes dashed. That said, if you have Saturn in your 8th house, you, are in, you, are, you aspire to acquire financial betterment through marriage but you will 